we've got a lot of different areas to cover because sometimes it's not just the kids who dress up. Let's talk first about uh, family costumes this morning. Yeah, so I find it more important than any year prior, you know, to get the whole family involved. So, so I absolutely love what Rob Archer Jr. and Sr. did with the Super Marios. He let, you know, the son pick out the theme and he went on to Party City, got those costumes quick and easy, even did this in-store pickup. So absolutely love the costumes. $39 for the adults, $29 for the kids. And you're going to see those prices drop usually a little bit closer to Halloween, but have fun. Let the kids have an input definitely this year on what they want to be and get involved. They love it. And and those costumes specifically will last, we know, for years because those, those characters always make a comeback. Um, all right, let's talk next about DIY. Yes, so a lot of people are doing it themselves. If definitely if you're going to stay in, this is great. Uh, my friend Ovi and Deneb, <laughs> they have every year where they get the family involved, and she sews. So, and it's amazing costumes. I've actually found that some of these costumes, you don't actually have to know how to sew. So definitely with the onesies, I even found one where the blue tape was actually just, just blue tape, just blue wow. painter tape. Yeah, just a white onesie blue painter's tape. So she didn't do that. She went all out. But there's a thought because I can't sew. So <laughs> so we tried it some years back when my son was younger and he loved it. He wanted to be a ghost train. So we got a cardboard box. I let him do his thing, went to the dollar store. It was under $20 and he was happy. Yeah, why not? So that's that's so cute. Called. Yeah, I can't sew, but I can tape. That's that's a great idea. I can too. I can glue. <laughs> and glue, yes. <laughs> Let's talk about reusable costumes, some options there. Yes, so definitely with the younger ones, they love dressing up just to go to bedtime. So, you know, if you got the younger ones, get something where you know that they're going to use again and again. Uh, I have been seeing a ton of kiddos, definitely with, you know, school being out where they're just dressing up all day. So we got Aaliyah, Courtney, and Brooklyn. We just let them do their thing. And Courtney in particular goes from Anna and Elsa to Batman or Superman in one day. So <laughs> you could get these uh, costumes pretty inexpensive. Definitely Target. I know the mermaid costume was only $15 at Target. Wow. So fantastic. something you know, reuse and the kids are happy. It's always a good idea. I know my nieces and nephews sometimes share um, within the cousins too. So, so there's another option. Um, let's talk about some different tips um, for just safe family fun this year. 2020 is just so much different ac across the board. So let's talk Halloween safety tips. Yes. Yeah, so one of the bigger things I'm seeing that is trunk or treat you know that's weather permitting so i want to say have a backup plan what i usually do me and my sister someone decorates their house so this year we're going to be having a full haunted house that we're creating in my sister's house and then we're going to decorate each door and have the kids to still knock on those doors so just have fun with it we're going to have a scavenger hunt you know just get creative and in the house make movies pizza it's all about making memories you don't have to spend all the money you know the kids are just happy with the memories and the fact that they got involved this year it's so true and if you do head out to the neighbors just throw in some sanitizer just be careful you can still have your halloween Ashley Styles, I love your costume this morning. Thanks for getting Thank up you. so early to put that on for us. <laughs> yes. Happy Halloween to you. Happy Halloween to you. All right, Zach, over to you.